WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. Five eighteen on our Tuesday afternoon. Let's talk about our forecast and first our time lapse from Tupelo. Wow, we've had some clouds, we've had some rain around, we've had some good downpours, some breezes, cooler temperatures, seventies and low eighties, and a live view with our radar from Houston to Shannon to just to the west of Smith, west of Smithville. Some steadier rain. This is lifting from south to north across the region. There's another batch over here east of Columbus and back to the northwest too. Heavier rain earlier today across central and southern Mississippi and Alabama. Three to six inches of rain in some spots causing some flash flooding issues. Some of this moisture we have now is actually associated with the remnants of Marco. That little swirl is still down there off the coast of Louisiana, but it pulled up a lot of moisture and we've had that in our region today. A lot of this goes away this evening and tonight. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s, but relatively cool considering the time of year because of the clouds and the showers. Mostly cloudy. Some of these showers may linger during the overnight hours and for your Wednesday, a chance for a shower storm early. I think better odds of some scattered activity during the daytime heating will likely start out mostly cloudy. See a little bit more sunshine and that should perk highs back into the mid to upper 80s, if not some low 90s. And if we do see a little bit of sunshine with the tropical air mass in place, the heat index could be up to around 100 degrees tomorrow. Hurricane Laura gathering strength right now in the central Gulf of Mexico. Notice how it's beginning to blossom right here. Sustained wind at 80, moving to the west northwest at 17 miles per hour. And we are still thinking this is going to make landfall late tomorrow night or early Thursday, right along the Texas Louisiana border there as a cat three hurricane, maybe with winds of 115 miles per hour. The remnant low will go through Louisiana and Arkansas and then pivot all the way back to the east coast. We are on the eastern side of the system. As we talked about this yesterday, we have the possibility for some heavier rain around here, most likely Friday if we're going to see the heaviest rain. And I'm not going to discount that small tornado threat either Thursday or Friday with that remnant low nearby. For Wednesday and Wednesday night, the severe weather threat will be down in Louisiana tomorrow. And uh, for Thursday, probably west of 55 out towards Louisiana. But again, we'll have to watch this as it all comes together. So. Rain chances will go up a little bit starting Friday, continuing into your weekend, into next week. A bit soggy here, very warm, very steamy for the next seven days.